Scott Morrison says the citizenship status of terrorist Neil Prakash was not raised in his meeting with Fijian Prime Minister Frank Bainimarama. The Prime Minister said the issue had been dealt with before the meeting in Suva and did not overshadow discussions. The Morrison government has stripped Australian citizenship from Prakash and claimed he was a dual Fijian citizen. Fiji denies Prakash is eligible for citizenship. No he did not raise it with me, Mr Morrison said. This matter had already been dealt with before our meeting today and as the Fijian government has been saying dot 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 we are here about a much bigger partnership than that. We have been able to work through these issues and move forward and I think that is a tremendous thing. We will continue to act in accordance with our laws and the Fijian government will act in accordance with theirs. Earlier, Fiji's top immigration bureaucrat says Neil Prakash would be a non-issue in Scott Morrison's visit to Suva because the convicted terrorist is not a Fijian citizen. Fiji's director of immigration Nimani Vunuwaka said Prakash was not eligible to become a Fijian, despite the Prime Minister's claim he is. It is a non-issue because he is not a Fijian citizen. We would be dealing with it if he was a Fiji citizen. Full stop. If he is not a Fijian citizen then it is a non-issue, Mr Vunuwaka told Sky News. Mr Vunuwaka would not criticize the Morrison government for stripping Prakash of Australian citizenship and claiming the terrorist was Fijian. The Australian government has its way of handling things. I would not say it was badly handled by them. It is how it was handled and we will leave it at that, he said. Opposition Legal Affairs spokesman Mark Dreyfus urged Mr Morrison to apologize to Fiji Prime Minister Frank Bainimarama.